the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP in 2019 general elections, Alahaji Atiku Abubakar, on Wednesday, 12th of August 2020, promised to offer his shoulders for Nigerian youth to climb. Disclosing this in his message to Nigerian youth on the 21st anniversary of International Youth Day on his Facebook handle, former Vice President reminded the youth that they are the leaders of today and tomorrow, noting that he would assist them in all their endeavors. His words stated, My message to Nigerian youth on the 21st anniversary of International Youth Day 2020. I wish to felicitate with the youth across the globe on the 21st anniversary of International Youth Day celebration. I salute the Nigerian youth in particular for their commitment and perseverance towards the attainment of a greater Nigeria. The theme of this year's celebration, Youth Engagement for Global Action, gives a critical picture of what the world perceives about the stake of young people globally. This global picture, which has been on my mind, informed my decision of 40% youth inclusion in my 2019 presidential campaign, a promise I am committed to keeping for the futuristic benefit of our great nation. In this era of COVID-19, when the entire world is facing a plague, the youth have a responsibility to guard against being infected, as well as help to stem the rates of infection by observing the NCDC protocols of washing and sanitizing hands, wearing of face mask, avoiding crowded areas, and observing social distancing. Indeed, the survival of humanity rests largely on the shoulders of the youth as vigor is required to wear out this plague. The vigor and spirit that you embody as youth will play a crucial role in the social economic survival of the world and its rejuvenation post-COVID-19. As leaders of today and tomorrow, I urge you all to preach and practice peace, demonstrate patriotism at all levels, rid yourselves of nepotism, and promote competence above all forms of sentiments. Only then can we truly have the Nigeria of our dream. He said, I shall stay the course and continue to offer my shoulders for you all to climb because as youth, you are leaders of today. My help to stem the rates of infection by observing the NCDC protocols of washing and sanitizing hands, wearing of face mask, avoiding crowded areas and observing social distancing. Indeed, the survival of humanity rests largely on the shoulders of the youth as vigor is required to wear out this plague. The vigor and spirit that you embody as youth will play a crucial role in the social economic survival of the world and its rejuvenation post-COVID-19. As leaders of today and tomorrow, I urge you all to preach and practice peace, demonstrate patriotism at all levels, Read yourselves of nepotism and promote competence above all forms of sentiments. Only then can we truly have the Nigeria of our dream. He said, I shall stay the course and continue to offer my shoulders for you all to climb because as youth, you are leaders of today. The former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, has faulted the alleged plan of the National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to take the party structures away from the governor of Cross River State, Ben Ayede, noting that it was part of crisis in the party. He made this known via his Facebook handle. He noted that it would be humiliating if the structure is taken away from Ayade and be given to someone else in the state. He warned that if such happens, many of the party members, including himself, would dump the party. In his words on Facebook, it stated, It would be a big mistake for the National Working Committee of the PDP to take the party structures in his state away from Ben Ayade, the governor of Cross River State, and hand them over to anyone else. If this is done and Ayade leaves the party, be rest assured that many of us will live with him. He said, you cannot and must not undermine a sitting governor or attempt to humiliate him in his own state and before his people. Some of those that are advocating and behind this nonsense would never allow it to happen in their own state.
a word is enough for the wise. He continued by saying, no one, no matter how big or powerful, should think that they own PDP. If there is an attempt to undermine Ayade, it will spark off a crisis in the party that will split it right down the middle and the consequences will not be limited to Cross River State. And on this note, we have come to the end of today's news on Nebo TV. Hope to see you next time. God bless you and God bless Nigeria. Stay safe.